Hello Scorpios, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do a reading for the rest of the week here. I've already uploaded the rest of the month. I've done the extended for those. You can find uh, the link in the description box below. So this is just an updated energy for the week. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The first three cards, overall messages here regarding your life. The second set of three cards, what does the universe want you to know regarding your love life? And the third set of three cards regarding your career, work, anything around that area. And then we will put, pull one card here as an advice from the universe. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please. Rest of the week. The Two of Cups, wow, the Three of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. Interesting. The Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Page of Swords. The Queen of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. The King of Swords is your advice. Wow. It's like very much, I feel like sometimes I um, the cards link so well together. And for you, Scorpio... It's like I can see why you have this is general because when it comes to your love life and your career, there's certain things here that are kind of uh, opposite way. Regarding your your life here, what does the universe want you to know? We have a connection that it is right now going through a separation or heartbreak because again, or you uh, are working with this person or they, this it was a friendship, but there's more than to the friendship. I really have to clarify because this is what i'm getting when i get the two of cups and three of swords i see i feel like two people or you separated from from someone here i feel like the three of pentacles is still coming as someone that wants to mend things wants to to uh, repair a connection wants to come here and kind of try again this is what i'm getting overall it's like we were together we separated we got hurt what can i do here to make it work with whatever we have uh, it looks like love, but again, it may be that you are torn when it comes to work as well and when it comes to a partnership. So we will see when we clarify. Because when it's coming here to your love life, I have this energy, I have this person or situation here that wants to uh, plan to take actions towards you and wishing here. And you may, it may be you wishing towards someone, you will know here. But this is what he's saying is like, actions towards this satisfaction i wish for you i want you uh, i think you know i want to take actions towards you i want us to you know to kind of um, look at it in the long term the page of swords there's still like someone that is still watching uh, watching here <laughs> watching watching you or you watching them we will see there's uh news that also might be coming towards you with this page of swords there's just someone that is observing and wishing and wanting to take actions messages here it may be delayed for some of you if you're waiting some type of communication but again i feel like it's definitely someone that is preparing to take actions and observing and waiting and watching and and you know kind of keeping tabs on you uh what's going on with your career and again remember guys these are just energies for this week um the Queen of Cups to me is like you feel very much that you are in a state of um, your emotions here are linked to your career. Uh, we are very receptive, very intuitive. But you feel like when it comes to your mind, you have a lot going on and you might feel confused, especially because we have water and air. So I'm getting a lot about confusion. I'm getting that I'm stuck in a situation and how do I get out of this situation? That's with the Eight of Swords and Seven of Swords. In the end, you're going to find something here of escapism or, you know, when it comes to avoidance. Um, you feel like, well, how can I, in a way, how can I trick my mind so I stop, you know, being this confused or, you know, having all these things that I need to. Some of you, if you are stuck at work and your heart here belongs, you know, wants to go somewhere else or wants to be somewhere else, I feel like this is what you're trying right now. Should I just let go? And, you know, not like think of, of anything else there. Just get out of this situation. Just go. That's 
what's going on with your work um, situation. Your advice is the king of swords. Now, some of you may be needing the advice of an air sign. It can be a Libra, Aquarius, uh, Gemini. This may be you. It's saying to think in a more of a controlled way, objective and controlling your emotions. Uh, but let's see. Let's see what's going on here. So what is the two of cups, please? One more. Hmm. The four of pentacles. One more. It's like someone here that you're holding on steel that provides a certain sense of security. There's a possession, of course, with the Four of Pentacles, but I'm not getting possession. This, it's two people here that feel very comfortable and at home and happy with each other. That's what I'm getting here. Uh, for some of you, again, there is this union that there's, there can be so much out there, so much happiness but uh there's a boundary so someone here is kind of holding because of um oh, i need to, to play it safe but i am i am getting an energy i feel happiness and joy with this person um they understand me so what happened with the three of swords one more Oh my goodness, the Nine of Cups is coming here. The Three of Swords here, Eight of Cups, and Nine of Cups. It's like there was someone that thought, you know, I'm, I'm going to get this wish fulfillment. It's like someone is wishing and holding on very, very, very tightly and still thinks like there's a possibility of happiness. So that's why I feel like someone is trying to repair. The, the, the heartbreak is coming because someone here um, is wishing and feels like this wish is not coming in. What is the Three of Pentacles? One more. The Four of Swords. The Three of Swords, the Four of Swords. Uh, it's like, I, I'm getting recovery again. I'm getting that someone feels like whatever happened here between you and someone else, that maybe again you both held back here now is like okay i want here i've recovered i've gone through all of this now i want to work things out with you so again this is an energy of someone wanting to come back wishing for you wanting to repair a situation with you especially if there's been silence between the two of you that's what i'm getting here and again it's coming from a situation that there was happiness there was a structure here there was this kind of uh, safety net between the two of you i don't know if someone did not let themselves open up or held back and this caused this heartbreak and it's like okay we could have been happy there was a wish fulfillment but you did not want to work on it now it's like okay i want to work on it i've recovered it's like someone has gone through the night here after this heartbreak you know preparing and preparing a speech and then Kind of feeling, you know, something, let me kind of do something more physical. Let me, uh, you know, see how we can work things out. What is the Knight of Pentacles here? One more. The King of Cups. This is someone that is really, it may be very much you as well. It's ready to take actions towards the wish fulfillment here. Like I am taking actions maybe because of the three of pentacles now. I know here that my heart is in the right place. I'm emotionally stable. I want to plan here. I wish finally to, to be together. What is the nine of cups? One more. Wow, the tower. It's like a, a surprise I'm getting here. Um, 
something that already happened what is this what is the nine of cups with the tower reversed one more yes it is regarding the three of swords and it's funny here because this tower can be very much shocking and the knight of pentacles does not like you know things to be unpredictable or you know not well planned so i feel like whatever has happened here or because we're looking at this situation in your life when it comes to your love life it's like now it's like i can plan here i know here what i need to deal with i've gotten out of a situation that gave me a certain sense of separation or hurt so again it is regarding a heartbreak or something here in the past that came here and kind of took the whole foundation here came as um very unexpected now it's like something more planned more i i want to make things right i i wish for this i don't want us to go through this upheaval in a way i feel like with the tower no that our foundation is not gone no we still you know wish for each other or what when it comes to you still wish for someone what is this page of swords please one more yeah that's why i felt like like someone is observing and keeping tabs venus in scorpio by the way all these possibilities now it may be that someone is looking at you like this trying to find information it may be you that you're still dreaming keeping tabs wanting to know here what is this page of swords with the seven of cups one more mm. venus and scorpio moon and taurus there's this give and take here it's like i don't know if you're waiting for someone to open up but look at this it's like there's all these possibilities all these emotions and it's like someone here is trying to balance this and this is by being logical observant curious that's what happening in your love life a lot about i'm taking action i know here what i want and what i wish but i'm going to observe because i need to know here that all these possibilities all these emotions are you know well balanced you're trying to put harmony here in exchange even between the material and the phys um the material and the spiritual uh, connection between the two of you are physical here and when it comes to your emotions as well all right so what is the queen of cups one more oh wow what happened here you're getting so many swords you have gotten hurt by a situation maybe you you felt like something did not work out for you what is this ten of swords one more yeah i feel like there was a new beginning that you wanted scorpio and it did not happen and you feel like you're stuck in it like especially i feel like psychologically uh, in this situation what is this eight of swords you still are going to make an escape what is the eight of swords one more yeah you're stuck you're trying to reflect it's your mind there's a situation you want to start and you kind of feel like things did not start for you when it comes to your career or your occupation and you're trying now to reflect and find out how you can get out of this maze when it comes to your mind here yeah there's a lot of regrets what is the seven of swords please one more the nine of pentacles i'm like oh wow you always get the nine of pentacles okay i i really like that you have the seven of swords because whatever it is that you're going it's going on here it's like in the end you're going to find here what's best for you remember i've said that for you guys a lot with the nine of pentacles this is you you're independent you you're self-sufficient you focusing here on your money on your you know yourself here your needs not letting yourself get stuck in situation here whatever is gone it's gone with the ten of swords or whatever it needed to be done whatever that is like now you're trying here to find yourself you're reflecting with that hermit you you gaining wisdom you understanding here the pathway nine nine and nine by the way very you know almost there um very virgo energy as well but again this is okay i need to do here something again that will have this 
financial freedom, independence, and I don't need anybody or I don't need anything here. I can do it on my own. But uh, this is interesting, this combination, by the way. Moon in Aquarius we have here and Venus in Virgo. It's like someone here is ready to leave things behind and be independent. Why the King of Swords is the advice? One more. Yeah, I feel like someone here is going to to help you overcome the barriers. This to me is, or, you know, again, message this person, talk to this person, open to this person, this King of Swords, someone that is intelligent, knows here, you know, when it comes to what's the next step. Or again, if it is you, is saying, be objective, control your emotions, and act quickly here as well with that Eight of Wands. You know, is that someone that is very knowledgeable in the sense that, okay, I need to do this. I know how to go right away. The Eight of Wands is blunt, quick, swift, passionate. There's no objection with, with this Eight of Wands. And that's what I'm getting here. The advice is, or from this person, or if this is you, again, you'll know exactly here what to do next and how to act. But um, yeah, I, I feel like no matter what, you're going to get out of, of a situation that has been a lot of upheaval back and forth. I really hope this resonates with you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.